so I suppose it would only be fitting to document the assembly flip of the FT757GX. As you can see, it's in two parts. All these wires need to be tucked into the cover here carefully. There's a little grommet that will gather up all the wires here, a little keep down. Note the beveled countersunk screws that go in there. And the rest of these are just common Yesu type screws. Anyway, now we can flip it in. So you want to be careful of this wiring. This wire is very taut and could pull off. You want to put the speaker into the speaker receptacle. So with one hand, I risk damaging things, but let's give it a try. So one hand here, the flip. I'm just going to flip it and kind of lay it down like that. Whoa, like that. And then you want to plug the speaker in. So I can't do it with one hand, but when this thing is all done, you want to make sure the wires aren't all screwed up in there and jammed in. Well, let's see if we can do it. So, put the phone down. Not easily done. I got to plug the speaker in here. No place to put this phone. Let's see if I can put it here. Okay, well, I'm not sure it's recording anything decent, but um, I'm going to plug the speaker in now without destroying anything, I hope. Okay, plug in the speaker connector. Clunk, it's in there now. You want to place the top, the front on first. Yikes. So, you want to place this on here first you make sure you can see the holes through there and then the back the wires will all crunch around and they won't be lined up right so you really want to then get back here and push this mass of wires in toward the center and once that once that's done then you can lower down and that's it you put the screw in here screw in here one there and one there, and I think that's it. Yep, four screws hold it together. Hold on the power amp and the top, so that's the magic. So what's interesting is I've just put it back together. I haven't screwed it together yet. I wonder if it still works. Every time I've done this, it hasn't worked. The transmitter has been dead. All right. Well, hopefully this is the winner. Hopefully it's going to work. And I did mark the power connections here. Um, I thought I did. It says plus and minus, I thought. Anyway, I, I color-coded them too. So minus is the top and plus is the bottom. These two I disconnected. They are now nothing. So these were for the transverter and the power supply for the transmitter, but... I would inject 12 volts into here and burn things out, so I don't want to do that anymore. And time to uh, put the screws in and test this thing. This thing's been a lot of work. This this, this has sort of been turning into a, a radio from hell with the PA, but I, I liked the way it received when I first got it, and before I tried to fix the transmitter, I, I liked how it received, so I kept at it. When you want something, you really got to keep at it. However, is this radio fool's gold? It's a 1980s radio, right? And is it worth all this work? It really seems pretty good. Okay, so here's a screw for the top. And of course I've lost all the screws for this thing. Just going to shove that one in there for now. Maybe I'll put it over here. Just to get it together and see if it'll work. All right, that goes in like that. Not too tight. You don't need to manhandle these screws in this thing. And I'll put one of these black screws in the back. The other one's lost. And see if it'll go. This screwdriver's magnetic, so I thought. Yeah, it is, look at that, so. Yeah, it's good to magnetize your screwdrivers if you can. 
it makes putting screws in easier. That should go right in, which it is. All right, so I've done this a few times and I've been rewarded with no transmit. So I guess it might be time to check the transmit now. Let's see if this thing will transmit. Little knob fell off the back. Whoa, and now it's on the floor. It's lost forever. This, this room is evil. Things fall on the rug, they fall on the floor. The only thing that finds them is the iRobot vacuum. Nothing else can find stuff when it falls off these radios into the floor. All right, that's on there. I don't have an antenna connected, just a dummy dummy load with a watt meter. That's fine. To see if it'll transmit. This power supply is live. I, I know my connection here is crap, but that's what I got. That's for a, a TR7, which I don't have anymore. I should make some big spade lugs for that. Just haven't done it. Okay, so this thing I think is, I marked it. Okay, so the negative is on top and the positive is on the bottom. I used marker and put colors on there. Okay, and here's the other wire for the uh, positive. And put that on there and see what happens. Clicked. I should have it turned off actually, but I don't. Okay, so the fan came on. And sounds like the fan's still running. Is it transmitting? No. Oh, okay, here's static. Okay, so it's on 28 megahertz. Let's see if it transmits. Yeah, it does, huh? So the meter's going all the way in transmit mode. It's probably not calibrated, but power output. This is the first time I've been able to run this radio. Okay, power output is uh, in there, so it has 100 watts. It goes to 120. Well, it's not 120 watts, that's for sure. Here's the uh, meter on 10 meters. So, hey, it's working. Let's, okay, let's start at the beginning here and go to 160 and try the transmitter. You can hear it's making a funny noise. So, that's a failure. One more. Now oh, we're on 80 meters. It pins. Looks like 100 watts here. Yep. So 80 meters is a win. Okay, one more band. There's 40 meters. That's pinning. That's 100 watts, that's a win. Okay, there's 10, 30 meters. 30 meters is a win. That's about uh, 110 watts. Here is 14, 20 meters. Meter pins. About 95 watts, that's a win. This damn thing might actually work now. All right, 17 meters, my favorite band. It's 100 watts, about 95 watts, that's a win. One more, 15 meters. Ninety five watts, that's a win. Okay, two more bands left. And Yep, ninety five watts, that's a win. Okay, here's ten meters. Ten meters this thing is weak. Someone was saying there's like a a knob to turn it up, I don't know. Anyway. 75 watts on 10, that's fine. 
All right, so that's my test of the radio. I think it's working now. It's time to put a microphone on it and give out a CQ. All right, this has been a long trip getting this darn thing to work. It's really been a pain in the AWS. I do like how this thing... Uh, I tried to fix the meter lighting too. Did, I, did it work? Eh, the meter doesn't light up. I didn't didn't do that well. Anyway, I do like how this thing has like general coverage on it, and I like how you just flick through the bands. I just love it. It's the best radio I have as far as ease of use, and it does AM, does LSB, USB, CW. Narrow AM and FM. I love it. I love the AM FM mode. All right, well, now that I've been fixing this thing for days, it's time to actually use it. So let's see if it works. I bought a new microphone for it. I guess I gotta find the microphone. See if that'll work. Here's the microphone. The static. I, I found this on eBay and it's actually wired for a Yesu, so it's now time to try the mic and see what it does. Yeah. Wow, it's a power mic. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fine. Let's see what it does. A D104 M6 Baker in French. No parler vous français. All right, well, thanks for watching. Again, this is the uh, Yesu 757 Saga. Have a great day.